What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I've got a best of three versus Doomnik. Uh, this is a really interesting one because I think of all of the best of threes from this private tour, I think this might have been the most intense, so you are in for a treat. This is the team he brought, rental codes in the top corner for you. Let me real quick jump over to my team. Here's what I brought. So it's gonna be a rough matchup. Let's jump into it. All right, we've got an Eternatus fight. Uh, Chiyu Fluttermane is the scariest thing. It specs Chiyu. Uh, it's a Meteor Beam Eternatus. Oh, this is so scary. Okay. Um, may have to be burning Terra Water on Calyrex right away. Fake Out doesn't really help me much. Wide Guard might depending on what Chi Yu wants to lock into. Um, Valiant is also faster than Chi Yu. I could use that. Oh no, it could Icy Wind if I don't Wide Guard. Ooh, that's a, this is a tough one. This is a very scary team I'm fighting. I know I need Calyrex. I think I need Trick Room. Can Necromancer handle it? It is Terra Water after all. I think maybe I can handle it. Do I want to force a Terra? Or do I want to just use Follow Me with Ogre Pond? Maybe Valiant lead uh, with Calyrex Sinistra in the back? Yeah, because Ogre Pond folds to Eternatus. Valiant isn't bad support on lead. Uh... Yeah, that's what I'm going to try for game one. Oh, we, we both have scary teams. To be honest, both of us should be terrified. Uh, it's whether Trick Room goes up. That's a good card. Whether Trick Room goes up or not matters a lot, I think. She you Fluttermane as expected. Cool. Alright, so the Fluttermane, well it's booster, I assume booster speed, but I need to see it. I need to see the booster before I'll know. Flutterheart got speed boost, okay. It has Moonblast, Gleam, Icy Wind, no Shadow Ball. Chiyu has Snarl, Heatwave, Dark Pulse, Overheat. Um, I pretty much need to Terra Necromancer here. Do I? I think I do, because I think they would still go for a Dark Pulse anyway. And then I just go for a Trick Room. And Spirit Break the Chiyu. Yeah, that, that's my plan. That was, that's been my plan. I'm just gonna, I'm just terrified to actually lock it in. Oh boy. Okay, no Terra from their end. Um, that's not too surprising. I guess Fluttermane could have burned it, but I think Eternatus will want to burn it. I assume they brought Eternatus, and the Terra Water will help it take a hit from Calyrex. Just a Moonblast, and I as Wow, that did a lot of damage. But we weakened that Chiyu nicely. Awesome. So then hopefully we take this Dark Pulse. We don't take the Dark Pulse, oh no! <laughs> well then. That could have gone better. I will be real. Uh, if I go to Calyrex, they would probably pull an Icy Wind into Dark Pulse. If I go to Sinistra... Again, Icy Wind into Dark Pulse. How do I handle that? I could always go Calyrex Protect. Oh man. Well, I, I have to rethink my lead, because that doesn't work. That lead <laughs> clearly does not work. Uh, he doesn't have any safe swap-ins to the Spirit Break. And he's, he's choice, so I can Protect and Spirit Break. It's not like Dark Pulse is going to knock out Valiant. So I can get this play at least. 
Fluttermane Protect? Okay, you're telling me I could have thrown my Ice or Sword Stance or something? Huh. Yeah, I definitely expected Icy Wind there. But I guess I'm okay with just taking that out for now. Um, I'm guessing you, that means you have Urshifu in the back. Which is scary, but not over. Walausu? Yeah, that's Urshifu. Cool. Um. You definitely go for the Wicked Blow. I guess I give you Sinistra and get my Spirit Break off? I guess you could also protect Urshifu here. I don't I don't see them doing that though. They've got the momentum, they're gonna push forward. That's what I think. I wish I was Rocky Helmet right now. Getting a little bit of chip would be nice. Is this gonna be Terra Dark on the Urshifu? I guess that's fine. That doesn't change the KO. I mean, now that might have KO'd Ice Horse. Ice Horse probably could have taken it without that. Yeah, and it's Icy Wind, so I'm not going to be able to pull that off again. Um, so there's really nothing I can do. It's game over. Wicked Blow takes the Nistra, then Wicked Blow takes the horse, and then... Yeah. Moonblast would take Valiant from here. Nothing I can do. Alright, I'm going to need to play better turn in, in game two. Oh, jeez. Uh, how much does that do? Not a KO, but it was Sash anyway. I guess I play for a throw? Maybe you think it's safer to get some chip down first and something? I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't... I don't see a... I don't see an out really here. Okay, that's interesting. But it's not gonna change anything. It's just gonna be a Moonblast into Valiant. Which I cannot do anything about. And then I guess we get to see the damage on Fluttermane. Because it's a booster speed Fluttermane. Knowing this damage roll is important. And it can live that. Okay, good to know. Alright, on to game two. Ah, already behind. That is a very aggressive team. I don't think I can get Trick Room up against it. We're not going to see the Wicked Blow damage calc, unless I can live from here. Yeah, I, I assume that does it with Dark Terra. Alright. Good game one. Uh, <laughs> I guess my uh, giraffe needs to uh, try a little harder next time. GG. Alright, let's see if I can get him down to bringing out his Restricted this time. Uh, the best way to do that would probably be... Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond is really good into their lead. I just didn't bring it the first time. Especially if it Terra's, but I don't want to Terra the Ogre Pond. I want to Terra the Calyrex. Valiant could get taken out pretty easily. I don't really know who to lead. Do I lead with Calyrex? Uh, maybe I do. Because if Ogre Pond's there... It could do some big damage. But is that the way I want to play it? I definitely want Valiant. Just not first. Yeah, I guess I just lead Calyrex and go crazy that way. Sinistra in the back, and I think I do want Valiant, just because it's a good answer into Urshifu. No Necromancer this time. I may never get Trick Room. This team may just be too aggressive for me to ever get Trick Room up. So I think I'm just going to start doing damage and be happy with that. 
that's still a great trainer card. Yep, no change from their end. That makes sense. Um, how do I want to start out then? Because it is a Specs GU. I could... I'm going to Terra Water something, probably. I think my best play is to Ivy Cudgel the GU, Terra Water, just throw a Glacial Lance. That's what I'm doing. Okay, once again, no Terra, turn one. So this might be okay, um, depending on what's done. If it's a Moonblast into Ogre Pond plus a Heat Wave, Ogre Pond probably goes down. It's an Icy Wind. That, is, that implies you're attacking Ogre Pond. What is it with a Heat Wave? A Dark Pulse? It's a Dark Pulse. Okay. Gotcha. That's fine. I'm okay with this. I get big damage on both of your Mons. Really big damage on one of them. Yeah, and then it's Valiant time. What do I want to do with Valiant here? I think I want to just coach Glacial Lance? You've got to be worried about her protect. I'm gonna coach Glacial Lance. I need to be. I need to be bold here. Will this work? I don't know. The Dark Pulse is probably going at the horse, uh, but they could also consider. Okay, it's a Moon Blast. Interesting. Is that a double into Iron Valiant then? That would make the most sense with that play. If it's a double into Valiant, I'm so happy. Predicting the horse to protect. That's a double KO if so. Please be that. Yeah! Alright. Love it. Alright, we're back in this game with a plus three attack Ice Horse. Uh, assuming the Chiyu goes down here. Yes! Okay! Whew! Uh, I assume the last is Urshifu and Eternatus. Uh, the Eternatus is going to tear it into water. It has Meteor Beam, Sludge Bomb, Dynamax, Cannon. Uh, but it should be faster than Urshifu, so I could get a Rage Powder off, maybe. Depends. I'm not sure what I want to do here. Because there ain't no way. Yeah, I think I don't. I think I do not want to Rage Powder here. Because they'll attack Sinistra on their own. And if they Terra the Bear to do it, they could be in trouble. They'll, they'll either let me get Trick Room or they'll attack the horse, and I don't think they take out the horse with a double up. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to Trick Room and I'm gonna throw a Glacial Lance. I think that's my best play. I think they have to Terra at Tornadus defensively, which means they don't have enough power to take out Sinistra unless they double it. Double into Sinistra, take it out, which means I didn't need to Rage Powder if they do that. And then two gla I'll need to- I think two Glacial Lances will take them both out. Even with the Terra Water, I think Glacial Lance will be a two-shot. Um, oh no, they're gonna go Terra Dark. Um, an interesting play here would be... You could blow the Sinistra- I mean, if you double into the horse here- No, you don't. Yeah, take out Sinistra and protect. That makes a lot of sense. I assume this takes out Sinistra from both. Yeah. 
It does. Well, I'm glad I didn't Rage Powder. But I wish I saved Iron Valiant. Uh, Iron Valiant is slower than Eternatus anyway. So now they're going to get both of these big hits in. They're going to get Meteor Beam and they're going to get Wicked Blow. There's not really anything I can do about it. Uh, they may not be willing to risk Meteor Beam. The only thing I can click is Glacial Lance here. That's my play. Do I take it or do I don't? Uh, I think no. I think if they Meteor Beam and connect with Meteor Beam, Terra Dark Wicked Blow plus that is probably enough. That's how I feel. Um, they absolutely could just protect Urshifu here too and just do the Wicked Blow next turn. There's not any real reason to do that, but you could. Uh, and it's not like I can protect to stall out the Meteor Beam because they have Urshifu. That would just be a free hit. Okay, they go for it. If I dodge this, I definitely win. Come on, dodge it, horse. Okay, I don't dodge it. Let's see how much this does. Uh, that's range. Yeah, I'm gone. Ah, good game. That's gonna be it. There's no way I take this, is there? There is! Oh my goodness, 8 HP! Wow! Yes! Okay, <laughs> we're going to game 3. Wow! Oh, that was a tough one. Okay. Good game. Whew! Uh, I don't think I want it to play out exactly like that next time. We'll both, we're both gonna have to change something up. GG. Alright, we know exactly what he wants to bring, but what do we do about it? Uh, I don't think there's any way to get Trick Room up against Chiyu Fluttermane, is there? Probably not. Um, I'm wondering if I lead Incineroar to bait a Terra out from the Chiyu. Cinderor plus Ogre Pond could do a lot of damage to their lead. And in the back have Calyrex. And Valiant. No Trick Room at all. But no Sinistra? That's weird. Ogre Pond goes down to a double up. Unless it Terra's. Do I want to tear it? Definitely not. Then Calyrex is weak to everything. No, that's not the plan. I think Valiant has to stay at home. Calyrex and Sinistra. Yeah, I think that's what I need to do. Ugh, it's so weird playing this differently every game. But after that, they, they might just be content to play it out the same way and just try to get reads right. In which case, I don't know. I'm playing it differently, so it's not going to go the same way. Same lead, though. That's a very strong lead. I mean, you've got to prevent Trick Room, and that's how you do it. Alright, I'm definitely going to protect my Ogre Pond. That's definitely what I need to do. So I'm just going to Parting Shot out from the G. Uh, I want to read a Ghost Terra. And I want to go for a knockoff right into Chiyu, but... I probably should have. I think that's what I should have done. I don't think this is the right play. I think I should have gone for knockoff onto Chiyu. But having a fake out in the later late game will be nice. Assuming they don't like Terra Fairy Moonblast plus Overheat knockout Incineroar. <laughs> I guess that's possible. Oh, I did get the Terra out. That's actually good for later. I so wanted to knock off. I wanted to do it so bad. It, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Let's see what they lock into, because that's that's important to know. 
Icy Wind? Okay, they don't know that my Ogre Pond is probably slower than they think of. Icy Wind is interesting. Does that mean overheat into Ogre Pond? No, just Dark Pulse. Okay. And you're gonna have trouble getting the KOs you want. Like, I could go to Sinistra now and get my Trick Room if I want. Yeah, I think I do want... Since you have to Dark Pulse, you'll have to do it over here. Yeah, I like this. This will work. Now I wish I had gotten hit by Icy Wind, but I know my Ogre Pond is slower. If he brought the same things, Ogre Pond is slower than everything he's got. My whole team is slower than your whole team, if things are what I expect them to be. Like, that could be a really bulky Chiyu, but I doubt it. Moonblast plus Dark Pulse double up should take Ogre Pond, probably. But that's great, honestly. I don't mind that. Because now Calyrex can cause problems. I guess the question is whether I go for a Swords Dance or not. I don't think so. I don't think it matters. I think here I want to... Matcha Gacha... Terra Water Glacial Lance. I don't think there's much you can do about that. We saw the Glacial Lance damage rolls before, and this might do it with Matcha Gacha. Because we did a Glacial Lance into Chiyu as a fire type, it did about 40%, so it should do about 80% now. Well, I think this does it. Uh, I guess my biggest fear is Dark Pulse into Sinistra? That would be really annoying. Uh, I also was considering Terra on... Um, ooh, great damage. Just gotta connect this Machigacha and Chiyu is out of there. Yeah! I was also considering the Terra on Sinistra for later, uh, but I was worried about Machigacha missing. Machigacha missed and I didn't Terra Calyrex, Dark Pulse would have been devastating. Even at minus one, Specs Dark Pulse would have done s way too much damage. Uh, but redirecting the uh, Urshifu later would have been nice. So, three turns of Trick Room. have to go for Macha Gacha Glacial Lance. Because I never got a boost on Calyrex. <laughs> uh, I guess Terra Fairy Sword Stance could have been a good play last turn with like Rage Powder. Alright, let me connect our Macha Gachas. As long as we keep connecting those, we got this. Come on. Okay. You can tell. Oh, good game. You took that, but. I don't know, I think I have enough Trick Room to win this anyway. I don't think that uh, burn's gonna matter. Because that would have done 50% instead of 25%. And now what? You've got two things that go down to Glacial Lance, and if you protect, you lose. Uh, Alright, now I just throw Glacial Lance. And I'm going to Rage Powder just in case Glacial Lance doesn't take the Eternatus. But yeah, battle's canceled. Whew! Oh, that was so intense. Good game. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to be posting all of the best of threes for this tour. So stay tuned or go back and watch them. 
But anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, all right, peace. <laughs>